In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to reduce rendering time using the SVRT tool. That stands for Smart Video Rendering Technology, which is proprietary here to PowerDirector. We've taken down the earlier tutorial, and my apologies for that, because there's some things I did not understand about SVRT, and I filled in my vacuum there with some speculation which unfortunately turned out to be misinformation. But thanks to the grace of lots of folks who are much more familiar with some of the details of the product than I am, I now understand this better and this tutorial hopefully will not contain anything that's incorrect. That's not our standards here at the Sharper Turtle. Well, having said that, let's introduce you to the tool. The tool is something you can get to in several ways. One is you can right click anywhere on the timeline and click on the Show SVRT Track. That will do several things. It will analyze the clips on your timeline. It will give, enter this track here above track number one and it will put a table up here giving you the profiles that you can use and pick from in rendering your product. You notice the key thing here is the coloring. You have a green for those parts of your video that do not require rendering and the red for one of those that do. You have various bit rates that you can pick from and your list may be different from mine but in this case here I want you to focus on the last one. This is called Workflow Reduced. I hover over it, I see the full name. And I save the workflow by almost 80% with SVRT on this clip as it exists. If you want to close the window, all you need to do is click on the X. If you want to make this track disappear, you can right click and turn it off. You won't see it. But let me show you how things impact your SVRT. Let's take a title. I'll go to my title room, drag down to my title, put it on track two. I won't even edit it. I'll just leave it in the default my title. And then I'll do my Alt S again. And I'll get back to the same screens we saw a moment ago. But notice I have another section that's going to require rendering. That's the place where my title is. Here it was dictated because I have a transition. Here it's because I have a title but I'm still saving about 69% in the workload reduced, which is very good. A couple other things that may impact it. I'm going to take the last clip and I'll click on Fix Enhance and we'll do a color adjustment. We'll just change the contrast a couple of degrees. It doesn't matter. And then I'll close that window. Now we'll refresh this or I can do Alt-S to make sure it refreshes using the keystrokes. And now notice we have another segment because I was adjusting the color and my savings of time is a little less now. It's 47.18%. So certain things inside your video will require rendering others it can speed through. That's the, that's the good news about it. It will tell you exactly where you're at. So let's assume we finished our clip and whether the track is on or not doesn't matter in terms of using the technology. I'm going to close it off now and actually shut that window and go back uh, to my media room here. And let's go to where we normally go, which is click on the produce button when we're all finished. One thing we're going to do differently in this case when we get into production is we're going to click in this file above the file formats. The seven of them I have here is click on the Intelligent SVRT button. Now I get to the same analysis window here. We have the same percent and it asks me to pick a profile. I can pick whichever one I like here. And in my case, the only thing I'm choosing is a slight difference in the bit rate. Well, let's pick number two just for fun. And then I'm going to click on Apply. Now what it wants, it wants a name for the profile. I can leave it at custom profile. I'll just call it uh, test one. 
And so I'm picking from the profile extracted by Intelligent SVRT and click on OK. And now I notice I have my MP4. It is a test one profile. If I want to remove it later, I click on the minus uh, icon to the right. The fast video rendering technology is automatically checked and so is SVRT. In, and I'm going to start to render this short video. I'll click on start. And now we're going to see a different screen over here in the upper right where the preview often is. And that just tells me that I'm rendering this with SVRT. Now when we get to the red areas in my SVRT timeline, the cursor will go slower. When we get to a green area, you notice it just jumped. And I didn't speed ahead on the video. That's the kind of savings you're going to see in different parts of your video rendering when you use the SVRT technology. So it really will save some time in rendering. I'm going to pause the video and then we'll see how long it took for this short clip. In this case, I was able to render a 1 minute, 40 second and 1 frame project 568 megabytes in MP4 format in 1 minute and 26 seconds. It does save time in rendering. So I would encourage you to test it out and see what it can do for you in your normal rendering situations.